left. Last night on Checkpoint, Māori Party co-leader Māra, Māra Ma Fox told us the party does not support Helen Clark's bid to become Secretary General of the UN. Ms Fox argued the former Labour Prime Minister had betrayed Māori with, amongst other things, the foreshore and seabed legislation and the decision to not sign up to the UN's declaration on the rights of Indigenous peoples. The politician who found herself most at the centre of the opposition to the foreshore and seabed legislation was, of course, Tariana Turia. First elected to Parliament as a Labour MP, she left the Labour Party, resigned as an MP, forced a by-election in her electorate and returned to Parliament as the Māori Party's first MP. Twelve years on, Dame Tariana Turia says that while she understands Marama Fox's point of view, she supports Helen Clark's bid for the UN. Well, you know, while I take into account that what they did, and it was appalling, the fact is, John, that I'm pretty pragmatic and I think that you can't actually hold these things against people without considering the political implications of the time. Now, I know that had Helen and him gone the other way on the foreshore and seabed, uh, the rest of New Zealand would have been furious about it. So I did try to keep that in my mind when I was thinking about what she was saying and doing. But I, I, I am absolutely of the view that there is no political party in this country, apart from Peter Dunn, who can hold their hand up and say that they haven't impacted on Indigenous rights. They all have in some form or another. And so I'm trying to base my view on what I know about Helen, how well I know her, and because I know she'd do a great job, John. That, that does seem somewhat extraordinary in the context of what happened in 2003, 2004, because you walked away from the Labour Party and established the Māori Party as a direct result of your sense of betrayal over the foreshore and seabed bill. So 12 years on, Marama Fox can't forgive her for that and for other things, but principally for that. And you can? Well, you know, while I was in politics, I tried really hard not to be personal, to see everything as political. And, um, you know, I, I, I can appreciate my own family weren't happy at all at the time. But, you know, we've, we've all moved on. We know that there are more, more important things than personal issues that may have happened to me. My concern really was about the impact that that had on our people generally. You know, to lose the last piece of customary land that they held by default. So, you know, we do our best while we're in there in Parliament. We try to make all the right decisions. But as I said before, if we opposed politicians on the grounds of history, uh, we wouldn't be going with any of them. Dame Tariana Turia talking to me earlier today.